Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to set up for Brooke's blessing. So in my religion, we bless the baby um, at church and then we usually come home and have like a brunch or a lunch or a breakfast, depending on what time your ward is at. But anyways, I with Luna did a big charcuterie board, uh, just a cheese and meat board, which was really fun and I loved it. It's just the right amount of food, I feel like. So I'm doing one for Brooks too and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along because when I posted hers, I wasn't doing YouTube and I had lots of questions on Instagram. So because there's so many new faces here, I figured let's just jump in and do it, you know? Anyways, I will show you everything and where I got everything. So hopefully that sparks an idea for you guys if you guys want to do it for a party or an event or holiday or whatever. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. Are you getting blessed tomorrow by your dad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. Because you're so cute and handsome. Okay, so I... The blessing is tomorrow, but lucky me, Kiloni is at the station. Yeah! So I'm doing everything by myself, which is kind of a bummer. But Lulu is with my parents. They are watching her, thank goodness for grandparents. And then I just got Brooks right here, huh? I just got little Brooks with me. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys my setup, but if you've never done a meat and cheese board. Some basics that you need is meat, obviously, like salami, prosciutto, like a beef sausage, um, some cheeses, and then some like fresh fruit, like grapes or strawberries or blueberries or anything of that sort. And then some dried fruit, some nuts, some like yummy mustard sauces, honey, jam, some breads or crackers, some chocolate. Those are just some of the basics. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have picked up. If you're just hosting for a small group, like your local grocery store will be just fine, but I'm hosting for my family and there's eight kids plus in-laws and grandkids and all that stuff. I picked up all the cheeses from Costco. I got some smoked Gouda, which is super yummy. And then this is a new one I haven't tried. It's Coastal Mature English Cheddar. And it's, so that one looks so yummy. And then, ooh, I haven't tried this one. It's goat, goat milk cheese and it's cranberry cinnamon. So the whole entire log is wrapped in cranberry cinnamon. I think that would be so yummy. Jalapeno Cheddar. This is not from Costco, this is from Hickory Farms. Um, and then I got some brie, some soft cheese. So those are my cheeses. I got this big pack of salami and there's like a Italian dry, a peppered, and then I think just like a regular one. I don't even know. I don't eat this type of meat. Um, so I don't really know. And then I got a huge pack of, from Costco and this is like the prosciutto and then like the dry copa, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, cause again, I don't eat this type of meat. <laughs> and then we have a huge Hickory Farms beef sausage. If you guys follow me um, on Kat Kamalani on Instagram, you'll see I'm obsessed with Hickory Farms. Every holiday, I love it. Get it for Kiloni. My dad used to. Um, my dad does get them from my mom. And then if we, I feel like there's not enough meat, I have this other Hickory Farms dried salami that I'll um, cut up. And as far as mustards, I have Dijon mustard, and then I have this Hickory Farms like the hot and sweet mustard. And then I have some apricot jam and some honey. And you guys, I have to show you. What else I'm doing? I'm also doing a hot cocoa bar. And if you're doing this around the holidays, this is like, this is what I'm doing anyways. I'm a hot cocoa bar and then um, like a cranberry infused water. And what I did is I got a huge bag of cranberries and froze them so I can put them in the water and they will um, kind of act like ice cubes, you know? 
keep the water cold. It'll be a nice holiday drink. Um, let me show you kind of my setup that I have. Oh, look how cute this gingerbread house we did with Luna. <laughs> we made it ourselves, but she put it on and it's so funny because when you have kids, just the slightest thing just make you so happy. Um, okay, so I'm doing a hot cocoa bar. I'll have the hot cocoa on our stove and then I'll have marshmallows, peppermint, and then I have whipped cream. And then I'm gonna just do the Stevens hot cocoa. And then I have a bunch of different crackers. I'm gonna do, I have like um, Himalayan salt, the olive oil, and then just wheat, gold spoons. And then this is my raw honey. And I just have like a little honey thing. I'm gonna do raw cashews and almonds. And then I am obsessed with these. I eat them all the time. Um, and I picked up a bag of these and I've already started them. But I'm gonna put that out. So this is the setup so far I'm gonna do. Have this cute little branch thing. And then this is just like um, crafts paper that I'm gonna put down and put all the meat and cheese, this whole entire thing. It's gonna be meat and cheese. And then I set up a cute little stats. His middle name won't fit. Um, if you haven't watched what his name is yet, you guys should go watch his name and um, his meaning. Oh, and by the way, people were cracking me up because they're saying that I didn't know how to pronounce it because I had Kaloni do it. Kaloni is obviously Hawaiian and he knows how to say it way better than me. Like if I'm going to speak French, or Spanish, there's an accent, because I speak English, and it's the same for Hawaiian. But his middle name is Keahi Ho'omana Okeakua. So I know how to pronounce my son's name, okay? <laughs> Anyways, and then I got this cute little picture printed off. Look at his cute little chubby cheeks. And then I have some candles I'll burn, and then just set up some utensils and stuff. So let's get to cutting. these cute little sticks to put in like the meat and have labels and stuff so I'll know what everything is I just started putting out things that are okay to put out a few hours early. Um, I did the huge thing of cashews and chocolate covered pretzels. Did some chocolate over. Cut up muffins are gonna go here and then I think I'm gonna put all the cheese right here and then meat and meat or maybe in between. I don't know, depending on how much other food we have. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside. I have this really cool dispenser. It's just this farm stand beverage dispenser. I got it as a wedding gift. But anyways, I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna wash it, fill it up with water, and then add the dried or the um, frozen cranberries in it. I cut just some of my Christmas tree to put out here so that way it adds a little bit more festive. So when we get home, all we have to do is just put the fresh fruit and meat on. Lulu, Lulu, hey, this is, you're crazy. You had your blessing day. Do you wanna see your outfit? Oh my goodness. He's so handsome. You're so handsome, buddy. <laughs> Yeah.
Yes, every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday You had a ball, didn't you? Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss a video I do. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. And no one cares about yesterday.